What are subtle red flags at a job interview that say, working here would suck? When they ask out of nowhere what clients can you bring with you? Well, the overtime isn't mandatory, but most folks stick around after hours most days. Spoilers. The overtime is mandatory. Was interviewed by a senior programmer and the department head. The department head was continuously making condescending remarks towards the other interviewer. Poor guy just sounded broken. Hope he's somewhere else now. Last job I worked. Yay. Everyone here is new, but it's totally because of COVID. The boss doesn't like people going out to get lunch because they're afraid you'll never come back, so being your own lunch. You'll get weird looks if you leave on time. It was a Chinese-owned company with heavy Chinese work culture influence so you were expected to stay overtime all week. Also, the people here are nice but it's pretty stressful. Ada, also was told by my trainer. Do you want to know the best advice I can give you? Find another job. This was like, my second weekend. I was once part of a group onboarding for an IT job. They handed us all the one-page new hire, contract, and everyone except me signed immediately. When I read the paperwork, I discovered we were signing a mystery document. Clauses included, I agree to abide by the personal search and seizure security policy, attached, without other pages. There was no way to determine what I was agreeing to. I kept requesting more and more pages until the HR drone said, okay, I guess, me, is just determined to hold everyone up. We will handle you separately if you're struggling so much. After I walked out and drove home. I called the hiring manager to apologize for not taking the job. He informed me that HR reported I had walked out after refusing to be drug tested. Once an interviewer straight up asked me if I had any trouble working for free on weekends. I told them my free time is more valuable than anything and that the only way that I would work a weekend is if they are paying me and if I felt like working a weekend. She got really mad at me and ended the interview right away. Biggest red flag I've ever seen because they didn't even try to hide it. This actually happened to me. Interviewer. Do you have any questions for us? Me. What is a challenge this department has recently faced? Interviewer. Job security. When you are signing all the forms they give you and you are taking your time to read over every document so that you can fully understand what you are getting into and people come in and start telling you that you don't need to read this and that just sign here and so on. My favorite is. There's a lot of people waiting in line to work here. Count yourself lucky. Huge red flag. I interviewed for an independent contractor position on a piece rate. It's hard to predict how much you're going to earn on a piece rate. So to attract me the manager showed me some pay stubs from his guys. I noticed that. 1. He could easily cherry pick pay stubs to show my his best guys best weeks. All that tells me is that I'm likely to make less than what he's showing me. At least on average. 2. The pay stubs were obviously designed to be confusing. They were a full page and absolutely covered in data. He wanted me to be impressed by a dollar amount. Obviously not accounting for costs which the contractor has to carry or taxes which the contractor has to deduct and pay. But he took them away before anyone could have deciphered what the pay period. Piece rate. Number of jobs or KMS was. 3. He showed me other people pay stubs. WTF. Another red flag is that they were desperate to hire. Because they didn't have enough contractors to deliver the work contracts they'd already sold. I had two guys from different offices call me after I declined the position who apparently still thought I was considering it. Jobs where the expectations of the position aren't clear. The person hiring you should be able to give a clear idea of your responsibilities are day to day in a practical way. It shows that the company understands what it wants out of the position. I've worked a couple positions that had a really hard time figuring out who was supposed to do what that lead to a lot of confusion and both of them had this in the interviews. If the company you're working for can't define what success in that position looks like you won't be able to either. I didn't know it at the time. But. You'll be wearing many hats. Was a sign that they were going to give me the work of four positions and the wage of one. I didn't last a year there before I left and now I won't even finish reading job ads that include that line. I once showed up for an interview and the manager wasn't there that day. No one called me to let me know. The assistant manager was not apologetic for the scheduling issue at all. She was literally just like. Oh. She's not here today. In a tone that suggested I should somehow already know that. She said they would call me to reschedule some time the next week. 
I told her I was currently unavailable MW but could come in any time THF. She said if I couldn't make time for the interview. I probably wouldn't be a good fit. I said okay, and went on to my other interviews and ending up working elsewhere. You'd think that would be the end of it. But both the manager and the assistant manager badmouthed me to a few other people in the industry. Including one of my friends. Hello. I made time for an interview. You disrespected me by not calling me to let me know it was cancelled. I gave you the times I was available to reschedule. And that was disrespectful somehow? You are required to wear clothing that has the company logo. You must purchase it yourself. From the company. At my last place of work. The person interviewing me had a printed cartoon on their wall of someone who looked like a bomb had blown up in their face. With the caption. I spoke with. Bosses. Name. About it. I guess we're still doing it. That wasn't subtle at all. But I ignored it. The boss was an absolute tyrant who wouldn't listen to her staff, consider changing her mind about anything, or let people do the work they were best suited to do. She wouldn't show up for weeks at a time. The job itself was decent. But she was the worst boss I've ever had. If you can see the floor before the interview. You can sometimes get a vibe about the place. I once went to interview for a sales position. Aside from the interviewer being 30 minutes late, it did allow me to sit and observe the situation. I realized pretty quickly this was not going to be the place for me. Very quiet except a handful of people on the phones cold calling. Many reps trying to push for contacts on the other end. Just painful to listen to. And when they'd hang up there wasn't really any interaction with co-workers. Just quiet. And then another call. It all seemed very tense. I noped out of there real quick after the 5 minutes the interview took. Dodged a bullet. I had interviewed for a call center job at another place that's as a complete 180 from that. Yes it's a call center job so it is what it is, but there was laughter on the floor, people talking to floor managers. Just a completely different vibe that was more inviting. My current boss gave me a great tip on the last interview I had. He said, ask them if you can pick an employee to chat with about how they like the position you're applying for. They'll give a better impression of the place than management. I got the job I was interviewing for. I turned it down because the above is the kind of management I want to keep in my life. Also the place undercut my pay offer I found out which is certainly also a red flag. If they seem too relieved that someone actually showed up for the interview. When you ask. What do you like about working here? And the interviewer talks about the location of the job. It's a great place to live instead of the actual job. They told me all about their generous severance packages. In the initial interview. Turnover city. I always ask about training and learning curves. Every job I've had that went wrong I noticed that when that question came up they stumbled. The current job I have. When I asked the question they had sparks in their eyes as they explained the whole process from day one of shadowing to the transition to working solo. And even when COVID hit they managed to continue without skipping a beat. Edit. Oh gosh thank you. My first ever award. Made my week. We only want the best of the best. Me. How much are you paying? Minimum wage. Everyone looks tired. Also you don't see anyone in your department before working in it other than the boss. Made this mistake a few time was the worst jobs. 